Hello, guys. How are you? Is everything okay there? Well, so today I'm going to show a little bit to you how to use some photo editing uh, programs. Uh, actually, this is a very easy program to use because you can use it directly online. So you don't need to download, you don't need to have a special computer. You just go online. The name of this program is Pixar. You put there P-I-X-L-R and it will probably appear for you. That's it, Pixar, the photo editor online. And then we're gonna enter in it. And my plan is to teach a little bit how to use this program, how to do some uh, basic editing things, changing colors, using some uh, tools that are available here. So when you enter in the program, you're gonna see something similar to this and you go down the, in the site and you see two options, the advanced and the playful version. The playful version is a little more simple. It's for some really basic things, but the idea is let's go in the advanced so you have more options and more things to do. So you click in there and here you will see the initial page. Here is where you need to select a file or to create a new image to start editing. So you have here some options. You can create a new image if you click here. Then you have some options about the size of the image, if it's full HD, if it's a little image, etc. Uh, you can go to the history. If you have some old images that you already use, they will appear here in the history but I don't have, you can also go here to open image and then it will open an image from your computer. But what we're going to do today is to go with this one here, load. We're going to load an image from the internet. Uh, in this case here, I was searching for an image from Iron Man. I found this one here and I think we can use this to be an example. So I'm going to open here the image in a separate window. Let's copy the link from the image. I did here Control C to copy the link. You can go here, load the link, copy the link, paste the link that you copied, load. And if everything works, there you go. We loaded the image directly from the internet. You can see here the little image from Iron Man in a cartoon form. Uh, today, there are many, many tools we can use here. You can draw, you can copy parts, you can change colors, etc. You can put some effects, some filters. What I'm planning to show today is a very specific tool this one here, color replace. What's the function of this tool? Like the name implies, you can use this tool to change certain colors of the image. So let's click here, color replace tool. Oops, appeared a propaganda here. Let's close the ads. And then we can change certain colors. How does it work? We go here. Can you see the color selection part? and we're going to choose what new color we want to change. So let's imagine I want to change the red from this Iron Man armor here, and I want to transform this red in blue, for example. So we go here, click, and we are going to change for blue. You can select here, or even here if you want more direct, more simple, but you can use these bars to have a more gradual selection, more specific selection of the colors. Well, like we discussed it, I want to make the red armor become blue. So I go here in the blue, I select the type of blue that I want specifically. Let's go with this dark blue. I click OK. This is important, check that you have the color here. And now we are going to start painting. But before we do that, always check your brush if you click here in the top you can select the type of brush you're going to use 
You can use a little brush if you will have something with more details, with more specific things. I will change a lot of colors, so I will use the big brush. The big brush, I will use 100. There are other shapes. You have brushes like squares, like stars, geometrical signs, etc. Let's go with the simple one, a circular one here, and the big size, 100. All right, so now that's the important thing. When you're going to paint using the check that you are using the color replace tool, when you click in the image, you don't remove the click. You have to keep your hand clicked, and then you continue painting without removing your hand from the, from the click button. So I'm going to click, okay? And then without removing the hand from the click, I will start moving around and moving only to the red parts to change all the red parts to blue. You see, the nice thing about the color selection is that normally you only will paint the parts that are in the color that you are putting, in this case here, red. But if you take a look here in the mask, the color is painting a little bit of the mask and I don't want this to happen. So how can I prevent this? So let's stop. Let's go back here to the history and go back to the start, the moment that I open and cancel everything I did. And then I can reduce the tolerance here. What is the tolerance? If the tolerance is very, very big, probably you're going to paint all the colors. If your tolerance is a little small, like 20, for example, probably you're going to paint only the colors that are similar to the one you selected. So I want to paint the red, and it will probably paint only the red parts, not the, the yellow parts and not the white parts. So let's reduce a little the tolerance. Let's put like 20, 22, and let's try again, maybe this time, Again, click on the red and don't remove the click. Go moving the mouse around and painting only the red parts. Ah, this time is better. Look, the yellow parts not painted anymore. Very nice. So we go and we're going to change all the red parts to blue. Here we go. The face, the chest the belly, the other hand, and even here, the legs. Let's move the blue. And remember, all this time, I don't remove my hand from the button in the mouse. If you remove, you will probably have some problems because then it will look for a different color. When I finish painting everything that I want to paint blue, okay, now I can remove the hand from the mouse and it's there. I painted the red armor to make it like a blue armor. Let's try something else. Let's try to change the yellow part to green. Again, it's the same thing. We go here to the color selection. Let's go to green. Select the green. Give it an OK. We go to the yellow part of the image. Probably here, this one in the middle is good. Click, don't remove the hand from the click, and again, start painting, and don't remove your hands. All the yellow parts, move the mouse in all the parts that were yellow, and now we have painted it green. Very cool, isn't it? It's nice because you can paint, but you don't lose the uh, details from the image. You don't lose the parts of the image, like the shadow, the, tra the traces, the lines, etc. Uh, one more, just to see. Let's try to paint it purple, but this time only the legs. Is it okay? We change the color here to purple. Again, we click now in the blue part, and we go moving the mouse without removing the hand from the click. But this time I want to go only the legs, so be careful not to go to the top. We don't want to paint the, others, the other parts that are blue. I want to go only for the leg parts and change all the blue parts of the leg to green. 
take a look there to green oh sorry to purple yes and here we go we painted only the legs to purple now we have a little more differences in the color there yes something else we can try well maybe we could try to paint the eyes let's try to paint the eyes in red and we're gonna see what will happen again select the color go to the eyes part specifically maybe for the eyes i will put a little more tolerance because the eyes they are white maybe it will be difficult to select click in the eyes don't remove and there we go paint the eyes a little more reddish not very red yes so i think that's it what is the only thing that is a little difficult to do uh, this strategy this uh, this tool it's not very good to create things in black and white colors normally when you try to paint with black to substitute with black or white you will have some very negative results take a look here i put the black and let's imagine i want to paint his face black look what will happen it's not working it's getting the red color the same case if i try to paint white put white here let's try to paint his face white and again is going with the red color so it doesn't work very well for black and white normally it will use the color that is here in this part and not the color that's between the the black and white so if you want to use black white or something in the middle like gray for example unfortunately it's not going to work very well so that's it and remember always be careful with your tolerance if you put your tolerance very very high you will probably paint all the colors independent of the the difference let's put here for example high tolerance and let's change for yellow this can be good too if your intention is to paint everything but in this case you don't select specific colors but if i want to make this iron man all golden take a look i can paint everything in him because i put the tolerance very very high so now everything that i pass i am changing the colors to yellow can be nice too depends on your intention you can have a very nice effect of uh, golden iron man in this case take a look at it let's finish the leg here and some little details i forgot here and that's it so that's the basic idea of this very nice tool here the color replace tool you use it when you want to change colors but you don't want to lose the details i continue with the drawing but i was able to change the colors to something different well when you are finished don't forget this program it doesn't save very well you need to it doesn't save automatically so you have to go here in file select save so you don't lose your your image you put there a name let's put here golden iron man for me you select what type of image you want uh, you can use just the normal one here it's okay no problems and then you can click in my case here download in some computers you see the option save but it's the same idea so you don't lose the image that you have created okay guys so that's it for today i hope you have liked it next time i will give you other ideas other tools that we can use to create some nice images so keep tuned see you next time bye bye guys